Genesis 37, 9 through 30. He had another dream and told this one also to his brothers. I dreamed another dream. The sun and moon and eleven stars bowed down to me. When he told it to his father and brothers, his father reprimanded him. What's with all this dreaming? Am I and your mother and your brothers all supposed to bow down to you? Now his brothers were really jealous, but his father brooded over the whole business. His brothers had gone off to Shechem, where they were pasturing their father's flocks. Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers are with flocks in Shechem. Come, I want to send you to them. Joseph said, I'm ready. He said, Go and see how your brothers and the flocks are doing, and bring me back a report. He sent him off from the valley of Hebron to Shechem. A man met him as he was wandering through the fields and asked him, What are you looking for? I'm trying to find my brothers. Do you have any idea where they are grazing their flocks? The man said, They've left here, but I overheard them say, Let's go to Dothan. So Joseph took off, tracked his brothers down, and found them in Dothan. They spotted him off in the distance. By the time he got to them, they had cooked up a plot to kill him. The brothers were saying, Here comes that dreamer. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these old cisterns. We can say that a vicious animal ate him up. We'll see what his dreams amount to. Reuben heard the brothers talking and intervened to save him. We're not going to kill him. No murder. Go ahead and throw him in this cistern out here in the wild, but don't hurt him. Reuben planned to go back later and get him out and take him back to his father. When Joseph reached his brothers, they ripped off the fancy coat he was wearing, grabbed him, and threw him into a cistern. The cistern was dry. There wasn't any water in it. Then they sat down to eat their supper. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites on their way from Gilead, their camels loaded with spices, ointments, and perfumes to sell in Egypt. Judah said, Brothers, what are we going to get out of killing our brother and concealing the evidence? Let's sell him to the Ishmaelites, but let's not kill him. He is, after all, our brother, our own flesh and blood. His brothers agreed. By that time the Midianite traders were passing by. His brothers pulled Joseph out of the cistern and sold him for twenty pieces of silver to the Ishmaelites, who took Joseph with them down to Egypt. Later Reuben came back and went to the cistern. No, Joseph. He ripped his clothes in despair. Beside himself he went to his brothers. The boy's gone. What am I going to do?